you wanna know why? And you wanna know how? And you wanna know why? And you wanna know now? I'll do this all tellies. Look at this. It's red. It's good. I'll get it. Ah. Oh, that's fantastic. I'll get a telly. I've gone to business. I can be out of the Oh, oh uh, I'd like to speak to Crystal. Oh, sure. Crystal? Oh, yeah, this is Mr. Oh, uh, hello, Crystal. I wonder if I could talk to you uh, privately. I'm sorry, I don't think we've met. No, we haven't. But you must understand that what I have to discuss with you is of the utmost secrecy and importance. Uh, mm -mm. Do you want me to leave? Well, it's nothing personal, old chap. It's just that we don't know you. I uh, believe you've just started with Infinity Limited. Oh, yeah, but I'm You done. don't know me either. Oh, yes, we do. We've checked you out pretty thoroughly. Uh, excuse me, Mr. Whoever you are, but we don't know you either. And I'm not going to leave here until we know you've got good reason to be here. I think you should at least tell us who you are. Well, all right. It's against regulations, but you put me in a pretty tight spot. The name's Hardwick, Lieutenant Colonel Hardwick, and I work for a secret government organization called ESIO. E-S-I-O. Extremely Secret Intelligence Organization. I've never heard of it. Well, I told you it's secret. And why have you come to see me? To ask you to undertake some pretty important work that's vital for the security of this country. What does it involve? Uh, <clears throat> you sure we can trust him? Oh, I don't know. It's a bit risky. Look, if you can trust me, you can trust him. Very well. This is the problem. We recently arrested three foreign agents, and each one of them had one of these. Now, we've been examining those transparencies for weeks now, and we suspect there's some sort of code involved. Uh, here are some uh, copies. Are these enlargements of the slides? Yes. Mm. They all seem exactly the same. Yes, and our experts have drawn a complete blank. Now, if there is a code and you can crack it, it might lead us to the fourth man. Fourth man? Yes, the man who's in charge of the largest foreign spy network in this country. Goodness. As you might well say. Oh, it's a big job. It's going to cost you lots of money. No problem. Sounds interesting. I wonder if I could... Crystal, Crystal, just for one moment. But how do we know you're not a foreign agent yourself? Um, Do you have any proof of identity, Colonel? I'm sorry, we're not permitted to carry any identification. But in this case, I can go one better. If you like to get started on breaking the code, Crystal, I'll take Roscoe here down to the headquarters of Ezio and introduce him to my bus. Now, you couldn't wish for any better proof than that, could you? No, you couldn't. That's okay by me. Right. We'll be on our way then. Terrific. Oh. Right, I'll uh, be seeing you quite soon then, Crystal. I hope so. No. Is this right, Vortex? Ah, just lift the leg up a little bit higher there, Plankton. Ah, that's it, right. Now keep perfectly still. What are these coloured lights for, Vortex? Atmosphere, Plankton, atmosphere. Hey! You keep that leg up. I'm getting tired, Vortex. Just be quiet, Plankton, and concentrate and keeping still. If you're tired, don't waste any more energy talking. That's funny. Then where's that white light coming from? There should only be blue, green and red. What white light? The light on your chest. Well, is the normal light on? No, it isn't. Don't think you're smart enough to work out something I can't work out. Because if I can't work it out, how can you work it out if I can't? You remember that army chap we saw going into Infinity Limited this morning? Yes, what about him? Well, he's leaving now and that bloke Roscoe's following him. An army job? Hey, that means big pickies! Well, come on, Plankton, let's get moving! But, boy, oh, hurry up, Plankton, or we'll miss him. Let's get moving. It's uh, just down here. Well, this is like people haven't been here for years. Well, the place is top secret. Oh. After you. Thank you. There's not many people now, man. Hey, wait a minute. What are you doing? So, sorry, old boy. I'm going to have to put you on ice for a while. <laughs> Go on out the door. I'm afraid I can't do that. 
You see, I can't afford to have you poking your nose in where it isn't wanted. Look, you'd I'm... ruin the whole operation. Look, I'm warning you, if any harm comes oh, to Crystal, that's me. I'm not going to hurt anyone. Well, open the door, then. What are you doing with me in here? Oh, sorry, old chap. I've got things to do. Oh, and try the chicken sandwiches in the fridge. Very tasty. Goodbye. Chicken sandwiches? What are you talking about, you bozo? Something very strange about all this. You can say that again. No, I mean, Roscoe and that other fella disappeared into the building, but Roscoe didn't come out again. I think, Plankton, I'm going to go back and get the camera. What do we need a camera for? To take pictures of whoever is going in or out of the building. Now, you go around the front, check out the entrance and all the windows, and try not to make a spectacle of yourself. But before... Plankton, don't argue. Just act like a statue, and nobody will know the difference. I'll even leave you the car in case you have to follow them. But Vaughn, we... You haven't got a camera. Hello, Colonel. Come in. Oh, good afternoon. Well, uh, have you made any progress? Well... Each of the slides seem to be of some kind of crossword puzzle graph. Oh, yes. What I have discovered is that the shadings of the squares differ from each other slightly. See? Yes. Yes, there does seem to be something there. Well, anyway, what does that tell you? Nothing with any certainty. I'm working on the theory that they might be slightly different pictures of the same thing. Oh, yeah. Where's Roscoe? Hey! Oh, uh, Roscoe, yes. Well, um... I, I, I dropped him off down the street on the way back. He, uh, he, he said he wanted to get some chicken sandwiches or something. Oh, well, I need some help. There's a book on code breaking down at the local library. I might just go and check it out. Oh, good show. I won't be long. Right, I'll stay here and hold the fort. Thank you. Oh, where is it? Where's that camera? Plankton, what are you doing here? I told you to stay there. I have to come home, Vort. Policeman told me to. I said I was obstructing the traffic. You're obstructing my life, Plankton. What have you done with my camera? Don't you remember? You sold it to get the money to make the dog lifters. Oh, yeah. Yes, did anybody call about those dog lifters? No, boy. Fools. People never know a great invention when they see one. No, boy. How can I get out of this costume? No, you can't, Plankton. We've no time for that. You've run off, left the building completely unguarded. But we have to get back there with a the camera. But we haven't got one. Which is why, Plankton, I'm going to have to make one. But, Lord, how can you make a camera? It's simple, my boy. It's all in this book here. Now, now listen to this. A camera is basically a box for focusing and controlling the amount of light that goes on to a film. Now, do you understand that? No, Lord. Oh. oh, dear. The bed. Oh. Oh. It's bolted. Easy O disguise kit. Top secret. So Easy O does exist. Oh. Just see out that window. I'd know if someone was standing out there. It'd attract their attention and get some help. <sighs> Wonder if I could make a periscope out of this stuff. I've got mirrors, glue, periscope. Let's see. I need a tube like this. And because light travels in a straight line, I need two mirrors angled at 45 degrees at both ends. 
so the light can reflect in like this. Beauty! I just need something for the sides of the tubes. Um, no. I can't concentrate with you doing that. <laughs> Sorry. Should have thought. Um, what are you doing now? I'm making sure we haven't missed any clues. Something so small it wouldn't have shown up when projected. Oh, something microscopic. And what do you see? Nothing much. Just the grains and dots that go to make up a picture. Oh, yes. <laughs> yes. Speaking of pictures, would you be happy watching television? Oh, yes, yes. Topping idea. Good. Well, the TV's out there. Make yourself at home. Oh, it's very kind. Thank you very much. Right. Switch on. Oh, dear me. Is something the matter, Colonel? Yes, the colours seem to be all wrong. Oh, there's an imbalance between the three colours. Roscoe was playing with it the other day. Yes, but there's a lot more than three colours in a colour television set. <laughs> I'll show you. Look. If you look closely, you'll see that the colours are made up of three dots, red, blue and green. The colour you see depends on the mixture of those three dots. Red, blue and green? Just three colours? Well, I find that hard to believe. Well, look, here's a picture with just a red signal. Yes. Here's one with just the green, uh -huh. and here's the blue. Yes. When you add them together, you start to get other colours. Red and green give you yellow, see? Oh. You can get any colour just by adding together different combinations of red, blue and green. Amazing! Wait a minute. Maybe that's where we've been going wrong with the code breaking. How do you mean? Well, we've got three slides, each with shading slightly different. Yes. Perhaps if we put a different filter, red, blue or green, with each slide, we might discover the code. Might we? The side's done. Just hope the stuff dries by the morning. Now the mirror. Forty-five degrees. Beautiful. Right. Three projectors, okay. three filters, mm -hmm. three slides. Right. And they're all lined up. Lights, Colonel. Lights out. One, one, two. Now, watch this. Red filter. Yes. Yeah. Green filter. Yes. Yeah. Blue filter. Uh -huh. Do you see that? See what? 4H4. 4H4? Four. Four four? Well, what does that mean? I don't know. But that's it. That's the code. 4H4. Four. Four. Yes, but I, I don't understand. Why should the code show up? just because each slide is projected with a different colour. Colonel, do you remember the three colours of the television picture? Yes, yes, uh, red, blue and green. Right. It looks like the original message was in colour, but it was photographed three times onto black and white film to disguise it, and a different colour filter was used for each shot. The only way to see the message is to project the slides back through the same filters. Well, I never. Now to work on the code. 4H4. It's pretty late. I'm gonna have to sleep on it. Oh, fine. Meet you back here tomorrow? Good. Where's Roscoe? It's hopeless. Oh, Mum? Oh. Oh. Oh, terrific. Fantastic. Periscope. Now all I need is a policeman. What are those two doing here? There. That'll do. Yep. Good point. It's not straight. It doesn't matter, Plankton. When we look at the picture, we can just go like this. Yeah, boy, that's brilliant. Of course it's a brilliant idea, Plankton. Now, time to take a few piggies. Hello. Oh, what nerves that thing there at 
Looks like a copy of camera plankton. I think we're being spied upon. I think you better go and investigate. designing for his clients, whoever they are. Plankton, what we have here is a super new secret spying device that could make us millions. <laughs> vortex, that's just a... Stand back, Plankton, let me get a good look at you. Come on, back you go. Oh, very clever. <laughs> oh, I like it, I like it. Further back, Plankton. Further back, that's the way. could refer to come up with a few possibilities oh fine well let's hear them well i thought of things like a file number a bank account some kind of a machine yes yes all those things are possible but i think you've forgotten what i said yesterday what's that well that the people back at headquarters expect that the code might lead them to the fourth man <laughs> and what fourth man might that be colonel roscoe how the devil did you manage to escape roscoe what does 4h4 mean to you 4H4, I don't know. Shoe size, dog license, tats lotto, telecom, map reference. Map reference? Well, you know, street directories. Uh, map 4, good reference H4. What do you think, Colonel? That's up to you. Map reference. 4H. Colonel, that's here. Uh, yes, well, uh, perhaps it is time for an explanation. I Just, uh, just hang on. You're not a real colonel at all, are you, Colonel? Oh, you guessed. Well done. I, I've underestimated you. Oh, I, I, uh, I am a government agent, but uh, this whole operation has been designed to test Infinity Limited's ability to solve problems. Why did you want to test us? Because certain people in the government are thinking of asking you to work on future government projects. And I must say that I'll be pleased to recommend both of you, unreservedly, as a team. So what do you say? Well, as long as the chook sandwiches don't have any chook in them. Huh? These chicken sandwiches look terrific, Vortex. Plankton, could you stop thinking about your stomach just this one? Don't you know that? Hello? Oh, Plankton, there's a doggy out there, and where there's a dog, there's bound to be an owner. Quick, 